Okay, Coach Kuhn, the Seminoles are back, right? They're back. All yeah. right, you guys were champs here last year, right? Yes, my son is the only kid on the team that was on the team last year. Are you serious? Yeah, he played you up get... a grade last year. Okay, so he yeah. played up a grade. Yep. Um, when you look at this OEC football championship, this is the only true championship for the state of Ohio yes. where you can play kids from all cor- all four corners of the state. Yep. Uh, what do you guys think about coming here again and being able to defend your championship? Uh, we really enjoyed it last year. I, I like it because I have an experience with wrestling and OEC wrestling, and the OEC guys always run their tournaments spot on. So the football tournament last year was ran on time, perfect. There was no hiccups at all. So I can appreciate it when the tournaments ran well. And you guys, the guys here at OAC do a great job. Now I look at you guys, um, Olentangy Liberty, right? Um, you got you keep adding high schools within the, the Olentangy district, right? Yeah. Berlin. Berlin's a new one. Orange? Orange is Orange a new one? And then oh, the original Braves, Olentangy. So our team's made up of all four high schools. So we have kids that will be branched off to all four schools when they go to high school. But you're pretty good. What the district's really good about not letting people stack a team, right? Yeah, I mean this this is a travel team, but we would call for an old Tangy team. But you know, there's still kids out there that could have been a part of it. But we wanted to play a little more aggressive schedule with this group. I'm saying the high school. They don't oh, let the you. School. They won't let you guys do. It. They like check. They're real strict about where people live and there's a lot of, oh, as far absolutely. as lo- allowing them to go to the school they're at. Yeah, right? You, are you can't just all go to uh, old school Liberty. Or old school in Tangy and, and build a ringer team, right? No, we can't do it. It's not an open district. So if you live in the District for Liberty, that's where you have to go. If you want to go to the other school, you have to sit out a year. Okay, you look at Liberty High School, right? Yes. I, I think it's the best wrestling room, you know, when I talk about yeah, it. Facility-wise, awesome. it's an incredible yeah. high school. If you look at the stadium, everything, it's, it's you know, it's state-of-the-art. Yes. You guys right know good facilities. Good What's this facility like here at Sports Force? Oh, this is second to none. I mean, we've, I've played some travel baseball here where I coach some of the kids here for baseball. And then we've been here for football last year and this year. And it's, I mean, look at this place. It's surf everywhere. It's great. Okay. As far as, you know, you have a son who's playing uh, college football. He wrestled. You know, what are the lessons that you want your kids to get out of football? You know, we, we, we get the wrestling crossover. You know, yeah. we know they're hand in hand. One, one hand washes yeah. Washes the other, right? Like, if you can double leg someone, you can tackle someone. But what do you, what lessons do you want your sons and the kids that you're coaching? What do you want them to get out of football? Uh, the biggest thing with football is, is put your team first. And if you put your team first and play for your teammates, uh, good things will happen no matter what. Win or lose, good things will happen somewhere out of that. And we teach, and Coach Hale does this from top to bottom. He teaches, you know, go to your look to your book left, look to your right, play for your brothers. You know, we might not meet the most athletic group that comes out of uh, the, the final four teams that make it. Liberty comes in and people look at us like, how do these guys make it here? You know, they, they play for the brothers. They play for each other. They play hard. They're smart. And it's a true team sport. Um, I think that's where the difference from wrestling. Um, you can win a state champion on your own. Your team might not win it, but you can win an individual. In football, it's your team wins it or you don't win anything. So, Being a dad, being a dad and a coach, is that hard? Is it hard to balance it? You know what? It, it, it isn't. I mean, I think you got to figure out how, how to do that. You know, there are some folks out there that might favoritism their son because you're the coach or what, well, this, that, and the other. You just got to coach them all the same and love them all the same. And you teach if you treat them all the same, the kids love it and play, play hard for you. All right, you guys got a game coming up tonight? Yeah, right we now? We play Northmont. Northmont right now? T Bolts. All right, that's what's coming up next, huh? Yes, yeah, well, I know you got to coach him up. You got anything else for me? Uh, no, I appreciate uh, the time you're taking here and being a part of this. All right, hey, thanks for the time. Keep grinding. I'm waiting for one of these high schools in Olentangy. I'm waiting for a team title. I'm waiting for a big division team title. So are we. I got a feeling it's coming. So are we. All right, all right, coach. Hey, get it, coach him up. Good luck to you guys. All right, have a great day.